kasi yung isolated facts, dinidiscuss lang mulang siya as it is. Yun lang, hindi natin ito kinoconnect sa ibang subject matters, disciplines, and subject areas. For example, si Teacher A nag-discuss about science and then she explained more and more explanation facts in about Eric, but yung inexplanation na yun and fact ay nandun lang nakabase sa textbook or dun sa limited source equipment nila. Hindi na kinoconnect ng teacher ang kanyang topic to the other. Nag-focus lang yung teacher dun sa facts and information kung ano lang nakalagay sa textbook na meron ng isang guro. And also, example, di ba some of teacher work in very rural areas and have little access to the other teachers? who can support them in their subject area. Like di ba, ng indigenous people na malayo, mahirap maka-access ng new learnings. So sa classroom, nagkakaroon ng isolation facts na kapag the teacher only use the source resources and ideas inside their classroom, can li- limit learning experiences and hinder the development of pupils. Isolated facts make no sense but become meaningful when seen in relation to other facts. Facts, when combined with other facts, help the learning see meaning and connection his or life. For example, the pupil learned that food is broken down into small pieces, which is digested by the stomach and is absorbed by the intestine. To connect the facts, teacher should be asked more questions like, what if the food is not chewed in the mouth? What happened to the food in the stomach and to the stomach itself? What if the stomach failed to digest food from the mouth? What happened to the food in the small intestine? Will will the small intestine be able to absorb food and etc.? So magiging meaningful ang isolated facts when the teacher and the student or pupils are interact each other. When the teacher question to the student and the student answer the question of the teacher. Nagkakaroon sila ng connection and then yung teacher nag- nag-ask ng more question about dun sa topic. Dun sa student niya and then connect to other facts. Kasi magiging meaningful talaga yung isolated facts when we give connect to other facts. Mm, okay, well said. All right. So, remember that isolated facts, facts are important. Kaya nga, tayo nag-aaral kasi gusto natin malaman yung mga factual na information. Mm-hmm. The next is limited learning. However, with this bank system, is education, there is too much teaching, not enough learning. Sa dami-daming tinuturo ng teacher, pero hindi sapat yung pagkatuto ng isang estudyante. Ala ka. <laughs> Ala ka sa mga teacher mo. <laughs> Yari ka. Oh, sabi niya, hindi ako nagsabi nun na si Miss Daisy mo wala po. Eh, joke lang. Okay. In, 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 yep, yep. There is, is some sense that pag medyo kasi mali or let's say hindi appropriate yung methods, there is the time that there is already more teaching rather than learning. So, ito sabihin lang natin sa 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 ano yan, sa pinakasimpleng pamamaraan. Okay. You should be learner-centered. In the 21st century teaching style, okay? Sa so, ngayon, ngayon contemporary time sa pagtuturo, let the students work more. Okay? Unang-una, hindi na mahihirapan masyado yung teacher, di ba? Yung estudyante magtatrabaho. Pero, pero para lagi yung pero. Depende pa rin yan sa level or depende yan sa uri ng estudyante mo. Kung yung ba ay fast learner students or slow learner students. So you need to take uh, consideration all of those factors para magkaroon tayo ng not too much teaching, but enough learning. Alright, let's proceed, ma'am. Yes. So, as a future educator, lalo na I'm elementary teacher, it is important to change the traditional approach to learning or the banking concept. Give the people or student the opportunity to express their ideas, free asking what they want to ask, and give it time to hear his or her opinion about the topic that we discussed. Relate or connect the facts to other facts to be, to be meaningful, the isolated facts that we have for more information and facts that connect the pupils in their life to how it apply in daily life. Hindi puro na teacher lang magsasalita at magpapaliwanag. 
Kasi edukasyon ay dapat na isa sa buhay natin bilang isang mag-aral sa pang-araw-araw natin, lalo na ngayon na that we are in the state of pandemic. So below our summaries of thoughts of education philosopher on what should be top and how learning should be top. Thank you! All right, thank you very much, Ma'am Daisy Malapo. Well said. O yan, mga ka-edo ka. So, wag daw puro turo. <laughs> Sabi niyo mo. <laughs> oh, dami aral daw. All right, so thank you very much, Ma'am Daisy Malapo. Well said, Ma'am. Okay, maganda ang ating discussion. Mga ka-edo ngayong hapon. So, wag kayong alis. And we'll be right back. Alright, so nagbabalik ang inyong host, AJ Kasentai, and proceed na po tayo mga ka sa ating next discussion. Last time, nag-discuss po si Ma'am Daisy Malapo, okay? A while ago, so napakaganda ng discussion natin. So let's move on sa ating next topic, okay? So, I think we have here Ma'am ang um, Nanet, okay? Ma'am Nanet, ikaw na po. Good everyone. My name is Nanet. Aldia from the Edward Scott it is the Empire Empire is for uh, Herbert Sorry po medyo po may Wag mo na ma'am madam ma'am wag mo nang masyadong ilalapit yung microphone mo sa nguso mo just talk Okay? Ma- naririnig naman. Okay lang yan. Lakasan mo lang boses mo. Okay? Thank you. Okay po. Okay. So, John Locke, FRS or Fellow of the Royal Navy, was an English philosopher and physician widely regarded as one of the most influential of Enlightenment thinkers and commonly known as the father of liberalism. <laughs> For knowledge about uh, our the world senses, learning by doing, by interacting. So, means for learning by doing, like, of inside the it's a ability that teachers should know. And, Ako po bilang isang teacher in the future is kailangan ko po silang i-guide for them to build their talents and sense as the stu- as a student. Okay. So the next is simple ideas become more complex through comparison, reflection, and generaliza- generalization the inductive method. Complex ideas build from a like all ideas come to experience classroom so my two students po doon na nag sa teacher niya if kung alin po yung mas prefer niya kasi po yung teacher pinagawa niya yung students ng outputs output then yung student po nag-ask nun sa teacher niya kung alin po yung mas prefer niya kung alin po yung mas nagustuhan ni teacher dun sa dalawa and as a teacher po kung ako po yung nasa situation na yun is mas pipi um, kahit po alam ko po sa sarili ko na ay ito po mas maganda po yung isa pero po um, sa sarili ko po ang sasabihin ko po, they are both nice. They are both nice para po, wala pong 
ay si Ma'am Noya. Ano, um, my favorite item, hindi po hmm. na-appreciate yung gawa nung iba. Hmm. Kaya doon po mas nagigimplikado po yung yung situation kung kina-compare ko pa po yung dalawa. Okay. So the next is question the long tradition of you that knowledge came exclusively from literary sources particularly the Greek and the Latin classics so the next is oppose the divine right of right of kings theory which held that the monarch had the right to be and to look ruler over his subject so oppose means di sang ayon or kontra kontra kasat curing yun next po is political order should be based upon a contract between people and the government because government was created through the consent of the people to be ruled by majority Next is aristocrats are are not intended by birth to be rulers. They were subject their own government and select leaders from among them. Since public education is necessary, the next is people should be educated to govern intelligently and responsibly. So, yun isang mga ngayon po. Kailangan natin ma-ibigit at matalino at responsive. So, ganyan po yung income election po. Magi, dap, um, um, dapat po ay maging matalino tayo sa pagpili kung sino po yung karapat dapat sa posisyon yun. <laughs> Ala, yan. Nagpangaral na si ma'am. O, yari kayo. So, ha? proceed na po tayo sa... <laughs> Nag-aaral si Mom sa mga aliyan, sa mga butante. Okay, pag sinabi natin imperosis, no, i-summarize ko lang yung sinabi si Mom kasi medyo putol-putol. Anyway, Mom, okay, tama so, yung sinabi mo. Ano? Okay, um, pag sinabi natin imperosis, lahat ng mga bagong impormasyon ay dadaan po sa sistema, dadaan po sa pag-aaral, dadaan po sa inquiry, dadaan po sa tamang methodology. In short, pag-aaralan. In short, research. Kaya, hindi ka pwede basta-basta dito na lang magsabi, lalong-lalo na pag university student, na wala tayong basis. ba diba? So, yun yung pinaka-importante, lalong-lalo na kapag kayo ay pumasok sa isang university. We should be, you should think, we should think empirical. Or, let's say, we should be a part of, or let's say, an advocate of um, this empiricist theory. Okay? O yung tinatawag nating, um, tawag ba dito? ang uh, empiricist educator or empiricist education. Okay? Pag wala kasing ebidensya, keep quiet. Yun lang yun. Alright? Let's proceed, ma'am. So, dito na po tayo sa palawang philosopher. Herbert Spencer, the vegetarian concept of survival of death means the human development of evolutionary state of stages to the complex from uniform to the specialized kind of activity. So, share ko lang po yung idea ko about po dito. Um, okay, go ahead. For example po, um, in elementary education po, Po, education po is sa mababa po tayong stages na to start with is kindergarten and yung mga tinuturo po doon is yung mga yung mga tinuturo sa pupils is yung mga alphabet numbers and etc at habang po nagbabago yung grade level or stages is parang nagiging komplikado po or parang pahirap ng pahirap po bawat stages po Um, guiding po sa ano, mat subject na 
math subject, di ba po, nag-start din sa 1 to 1, 2 plus 2, basta po sa simple equation. Pero po, habang sumatagal po, nang ng para, sabihin po na yung student. Okay, sige ma'am. Pasok lang ng pasok. Sige lang, salita lang ng salita. <laughs> the next is social movement had taken place according to an evolutionary process by which simple homogeneous societies had evolved to more complex societal systems systems characterized with humanistic and classical education. So, for example po. Oh, sample yan, party party. <laughs> Naririnig. The next? Kung <laughs> salino yan. Sige lang, sige lang. Okay lang. So, kabila po kasi yun. Oo, uh, sige lang. Ano yan? Ang uh, kampanya o may um, birthday party? The next is? <laughs> oh, sige na, diretso na. Mm, sige na. The next is industrialized society require vocational and professional education based on scientific and practical or, or, or utilitarian objectives rather than the very general educational goals associated with humanistic and classical education. For example, po, in elementary education, kailangan natin magkaroon ng vocational na babagay sa mga pupils upang malaman at mahubog ang kanilang mga kakayahan as a student po. Next po is was not inclined to road learning. Schooling must be related to life and the activities needed to earn a living. Ayan, so, medyo nawawala si ma'am. So, according Ayan. to Jan... Ah, sige, sige ma'am. Sige, pasok lang. Medyo konting delay lang eh. So, according... So, according to Jan... To Jan, he believed that education is a process of living and not a preparation of the future living. Because education gives us a knowledge of the world, world around us and changes it into something it, de it develops a perspective of looking at life and also it helps us to build opinions. Alright, so ganito. Okay, isam ko yung summarize ko yung sinabi ni ma'am. Okay, ganito lang yung mga ka -eduk, no? Bigyan ko kayo ng example. Kapag yung shota ninyo para sa lahat, <laughs> utilitarian na yun yung yan, okay? <laughs> Kasi, Pag sinabi natin ano yan, ang um, utilitarian education, uh, it's just an idea that one educational system is for all. Kung meron sila, meron din dapat kayo. Kung ano yung meron sila, dapat ganun sila. It's just part of ano yan, parang socialism yung dating. Na kung nag-aaral ka, dapat mag-aaral din siya. No? Kahit medyo mahina yung kanyang ability, dapat mag-aaral kayo sa parehong curriculum. Ganun. Pero may problema kasi itong ano yan, uh, utilitarianism. Because it's not actually for all. Because, alam mo nga, na iba-iba ang estudyante. O diba? Alam ka, ipilit, ipilit kita na gusto mo. Uh, for example, mahina ka naman sa arts. Pat kita papapasukin doon sa sa yums. Diba? Pat kita pipilitin sa yums. O ito yung problema dito. O diba? Kaya nakakaloko ko yung boyfriend ninyo para sa lahat. <laughs> Iwanan mo na yan. <laughs> so, para sa education na, sabihin na natin sa, sa ano yan, in real talk, Hindi para sa lahat ang utilitarian type of education. Hindi para sa lahat yan. Kasi meron din tayong kanya-kanyang knowledges. Remember, Howard Garner's multiple intelligences. Diba? So, hindi, hindi yan para sa lahat. Okay, may nababagayan lang talaga yan. Okay. Ang kagandaan naman ng anyan, utilitarianism is that sa utilitarian, ano, tawag ba dito, uh, talagang pinag-iigihan na dapat lahat ng tao Baka pag-aral na basic education. Kung ako tatanungin, pwede mong gamitin yung 
ang uh, utilitarianism sa basic education na hindi ka pwedeng makapasok sa university or di ka pwedeng makapag-test dahil di ka makapagtungtong sa high school kung wala kang basic education sa elementary. And that's your K-12 program. Pwedeng pumasok yan dyan. Alright? So let's proceed, ma'am. Dito na tayo kay John Dewey. Ay, ito yung gustong-gusto ko. Hello po. Hello everyone. Um, I am discussing John Dewey and George Count's thoughts of... Ah, ikaw na ma'am. Sorry. Tapos, na, tapos ka na ma'am, Lanette. Ah, okay. Sige. Ah, okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay, okay lang yan. Medyo mabagal yung ano yan, internet. Okay, naiintindihan namin yan. Tapos may party dyan sa'yo. <laughs> Natahimigan ko ng party-party. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay. So, standby ka lang dyan, ma'am, Nanette. Alright. So, well said po. Okay, pumasok na kanina si Ma'am Liza. Na-excite ako. Nagulot ako. Pag <laughs> hindi nagsasalita yung isang screen. Iba na pala yung nagsasalita. Alright. So, okay, once again, thank you very much po, ma'am, Nanette. I'll be okay. And let's proceed na po. We have Ma'am Liza. Ma'am? Hello po again. Um, my topic is uh, about po Kim John Dewey. John Dewey, 1859-1952. So, he is an American philosopher, psychologist, and educational reformer <laughs> whose ideas have been influential in education and social reform. So, John Dewey, also known as the father of educational philosophy, he said that education is life itself. His thought about education is that learning through experience o pag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng karanasan po. So, according to him, education is a social process and so school is intimately related to the society that it serves po. So, ibig sabi, para po sa akin, yung ibig sabihin po nun is yung edukasyon, um, ang edukasyon ng, ay panlipunang proseso. At ang paaralan ay kumbaga much related to the society that it serves kasi um, di ba yung mga practices, values and yung knowledge na tinuturo sa paaralan ay sumasalamin sa mga ginagawa o sabihin na natin once na natutunan mo yung mga itinuro sa iyo you will be ready and well prepared on how to deal or serve with the society po. Okay. So Children are usually active human beings who want to explore their environment and control over it. Mm. So, dito naman, lahat naman tayo dumaan sa pagkabata and we all know how active children are. Mm. Gusto gusto nilang mag-explore sa kanilang environment kung kaya minsan, they do not know if they do wrong or right. But at least from that, they learned. Oh, tama yan. Anak ko nga, binakbak na nga may na wallpaper sa kwarto na mo. <laughs> Ako magagawa dun eh. Talagang ano yan, curious yung bata. Okay, sige. So, dapat lang mayro direct supervision yung teacher. Kasi baka mapano. Diba? Okay, let's proceed ma'am. Apo. Education is a social process by which the immature members of the group, especially the children, are brought to... <coughs> to participate in society. So, dito naman, yung edukasyon ay um, panlipunang proseso na kung saan yung mga immature members of the group, lalong-lalong na yung mga bata, ay matuluang matilak sa lipunan. Yung sumaling sa mga programs sa youth box. Mm. Tapos next po, the school is a special environment um, established by members of society for the purpose of simplifying, purifying, and integrating the social experience of the group so that it can be understood, examined, and used by its children. The sole purpose of education is to contribute to the personal and social growth of individuals. Yan. The steps of the scientific or reflective method which are extremely important in Dewey's educational theory are as follows. The learner has a genuine situation of experience, involvement in an activity which he or she is interested. 
Within this experience, the learner has a genuine problem that stimulates thinking. The learner possesses the information or does research to acquire the information needed to solve the problem. So, yung gumagawa po sila na, uh, naghanap po sila ng, uh, gumagawa ng research um, para makakuha ng information na makatulong sa pag-solve ng problema po. So, the learner test the solution by applying them to the problem. This is one way one discovers their validity for oneself. The fund of knowledge knowledge of the human race past ideas, discoveries, and inventions was to be used as the material for dealing with problems. This accumulated wisdom of cultural heritage has to be tested. So yes, di ba, yung mga past ideas natin, yung mga discoveries and inventions ay magamit pa rin to deal with um, the problem. Kasi sabi dito, yung mga naipon na kaalaman na, um, na pamana ng kultura ay tested na, nasubukan na. And why not na magamit pa para sa pag ng problem. If it serves human purposes, it becomes part of reconstructed experience. Next book, the school is a social, scientific, and democratic. The school introduces children, society, and their heritage. The school as a miniature society is a means of bringing children into social participation. Yung paaralan daw ay nagpapakilala sa mga bata sa dipunan and their heritage kasi ang paaralan kung baga um, miniature siya ng dipunan kung sa, sa paaralan natin natutunan at natikilala yung mga bagay na mayroon sa isang lipunan. Yung mga ginagampanan ng tao sa lipunan and yung mga importante na, na lesson na kailangan natin matutunan or niya makilala. Like, yung sa history po, kailangan din yun na makilala ng mga bata po. Alright, well said ma'am. Okay po? Okay, so mga ka-eduk, Nagsimula doon kanina sa topic ni Ma'am Nanet. Ang isa sa pinakamagandang regalo ng humankind o ng mga tao sa kapwa niya tao is yung idea po ng empirical or empiricism. Because kung wala kasi yun, siguro wala tayo ngayon naabot na cultural innovation. Wala tayong naabot ngayon na technological innovation. Kasi yung mga natutunan natin noon, Okay, hindi nag evolve So, mangyayari lang yan through study, through research. Diba? Kaya sabi ka, bilinan ko doon sa vlog ko, <laughs> na pag kayo pumasok sa university, <laughs> whether you like it or not, mag research po kayo. Kasi yun ang pong magiging inyong ambag sa society. So, that's according to here sa idea po ni John Dewey na dapat ang teacher talaga, facilitator. Tayo lang yung magbibigay ng environment that is conducive for learning. Okay. Uh, diba? I-connect ko na sinasabi kanina naman ni Ma'am Daisy na wag puro turo, dami aral. Diba? So, connected yan mga yan mga ka-eduk. Okay? So, let's proceed po, Ma'am. Sana po. Uh, the school is a scientific in the sense that it is a social laboratory in which children and youth could test their ideas and values. In here, the learner acquires the disposition and procedures associated with scientific or reflective thinking and acting. The school is democratic because the learner is free to test all ideas, beliefs, and values. Cultural heritage, customs, and institutions are all subject to critical inquiry, investigation, and reconstruction. So, the school should be used by all it being a democratic institution. No barrier of custom or prejudice segregate people. People ought to work together to solve common problems. Alright. Sorry po, sir. Tama yun. Narinig nyo, ha? People. Kaya nga, pag nagre-research, Normally, ano, baccalaureate degree, no? Or let's say undergraduate thesis by group. Diba? So, kaya dapat yung lahat ng members, 
Ay, yung magpapagaan, hindi puro dumbbell. <laughs> Eh, puro dumbbell mamay sa guru. Jesus ko, Mar Yosef. Isa lang yung nagtatrabaho, di ba? Kawawa naman. So, dapat lahat kayo magtulungan. Pag kayo tatlo nagtutulungan, for example, kayong apat, matatapos nyo kaagad on the specific target time. Okay, let's proceed po, ma'am. The authoritarian or coercive style of administration and te teaching is out of place because they block genuine inquiry and dialogue. Education is a social activity and the school is a social agency that helps shape human character and behavior. So, ang edukasyon daw ay um, uh, gawain pang lipunan at ang paara paaralan ay ahensya ng lipunan na kung saan hinuhubog yung mga um, yung human character, yung pagkatao on, at yung mga pag-ugali po. Yep. Why would I relate? Kaya nga tatlo yung uh, domains nyo, di ba? Cognitive. Yes. Po. These were factual. Okay, factual information. Psychomotors, for about skills. At pinaka importante sa lahat, values. That's effective domain. Di ba? Okay, so let's proceed po. So, values are relative but Sharing, cooperation, and democracy are significant human values that should be encouraged by schools. So, abalik ko po sa kanina. So, sabi, ang paaralan ay scientific, laboratory, and democratic to the sense that children and youth test their ideas and values which is na-acquire nila yung reflective thinking and acting skills. So, they are free to test their ideas, beliefs, and values. So, pinap sa pinapakita ni John Dewey po na, na yung mga ideas from the past ay nakatulong sa pag-reconstruct ng karanasan experience. Dahil bukod ito sa subok na ay maari pa rin magamit to deal with the problems in a present. So, at ang paaralan ay para sa mga tao dahil ito ay democratic institution. So, dapat we should experience democra democracy in schools. Alright, well said ma'am. So, ang kapaganda yung sinabi ni ma'am Nani, panghuli. Okay? So, importanteng-importante yun sa atin ha. So, may demokrasya po sa loob ng classroom. Saan ko yung malalaman? Okay? In the learning. Okay? In the teaching and learning process. That's why teachers and students are always linked because there should be a teacher and student relationship. Ano ang, ano yan, katambal noon, teaching and learning process. Okay, so it should be democratic. Uh, hindi dapat uh, diktador yung teacher, no? Kaya hindi dapat yung teacher, ano yan, medyo, alam tawag ba dito? <laughs> medyo aggressive, oppressive ang lating, hindi. So there should be always a uh, uh, democra democracy sa loob ng classroom. Everybody has the right. Everybody has the freedom. To learn, to express yourself. Yun nga lang, limited. Hindi yan unlimited. Ha? May limit yan. Ha? Yes. Alam, naman, alam naman kasi unlimited. For example, kayo. <laughs> sa inyo nagtatanong, alas 11 ng gabi, sir. <laughs> Sorry po dahil may itatag. Sus ko rin. <laughs> Turog na ikan si sir ninyo. No? So, pag mga ganyang bagay, may limit po. Ha? A democracy doesn't mean freedom. But you, you, you are given the privilege to express, to learn, to study, to do research. Yun nga lang, on a very limited basis only. Alright? So, thank you very much, Ma'am Liza. So, meron pa pong susunod? Yep. Ah, ako pa po, sir. Yung, ano, ki George Counts pa po. Ah, mala. Sige. <laughs> Go. Alright. So, yung sunod po, si George Counts. 1889-1974. So, He is best uh, best known for his controversial pamphlet Dare the School Build a New Social Order no 1932. So, ano po? Building a New Social Order. So, sabi ni uh, according to George Counts, education is not based on eternal truths but is relative to a particular society living at a given time and place by allying themselves with groups that want to change society, schools should cope with social change that arises from technology. There is, there is a cultural lag between material progress and social institutions and ethical values. So, instruction should incorporate a content of socially useful nature and a problem-solving methodology. 
students are encouraged to work on problems that have social significance. So, dapat daw isama sa pagtuturo ang mga likas na kapakipakinabang sa lipunan at pamamaraan ng pagbukas na problema. Dapat hikayatin ang mga uh, mag-aaral to work prob- uh, learners to work problem na may kahalagahan, kahalagahan sa lipunan. So, schools become instrument for social improvement rather than an agency for preserving the status quo. Ang paaralan daw ay instrumento ng pagpapabuti sa lipunan at uh, sa halip na ano, isang ahensya. Hindi ko siya. So, ano daw? Ano daw? <laughs> ano sabi? Okay. Naalala niyo sabi ni Dr. Jose Rizal na minsan um, hindi sa lahat ng pa- pagkakataon uh, yung natutunan ay nagagamit sa kabutihan. Oh, depende pala yun sa pinag-aralan din. Kasi may mga uh, nakapag-aral din na minsan na gagamit sa mali. Diba? So, we should um, patronize, of course, good deeds. Kasi mga guru tayo. Remember, eduk to. Teaching is the noblest profession. Alright? So, let's proceed, ma'am. So, teachers should lead society rather than follow it. Teachers are agents of change. So, ang mga guru ay ang ang nangunguna dapat sa pagbabago dahil sila dapat ang nagpapasunod at hindi ang sumusunod. Okay. So, teachers are called on to make important choices in the in controversial areas of economics, politics, and morality because if they fail to do so, others would make the decisions for them. So, dapat daw ang mga guro ang dapat tawagin sa mga importanteng uh, o mahalagang pag, pagdidesisyon dahil pag nabigo nila ito, yung iba na ang magdidesisyon para sa kanila. Okay? Schools out. Sige po, sir. Go ahead. Schools out to provide an education that for equal learning opportunities to all students. So, ang paaralan ang dapat magbigay ng kaya at pantay na pagkakataong makapag-aral at na patuto. So, ang pagka so dito po, ang pagkakapareho na ng uh, ng Georgian ni John Dewey at ni George Counts ay para sa kanila yung problem solving ah uh, pa- yung ah uh, yung pagkakapareho nila uh, um problem problem solving should be the dominant method for instruction so si George Counts he asserts that there is a cultural lag between material progress and social institutions and ethical values so according to him yung mga material progress ng humankind is very evident at uh, pero pero parang nanghuli naman yung mga moral at ethical development. Um, yep. Okay. Yan. Sabi niya talaga ang science. Yan kung ganito. Kung ang mga bata, homogeneously speaking, matatalino. Kaya kung mapansin niyo sa grade system dito sa Pilipinas, 'di ba may mga sections? Oh. Ngayon, yung mga sections na yan, literally speaking, no, real talk. May binibase yan kasi or quota pagdating sa IQ. Okay? Kaya huwag kayong ma-hurt minsan kung nasa lower section. Kasi yun ang namit mo ng previous mong um, years. Kaya doon ka inilagay. Normal yan. Kasi meron po talagang grade level to check whether uh, the students are doing the progress. Okay? Pero, ang dami nyo pang malalamang mga philosophy and, and educational institution. Eh. Kasi, may kumukontra na naman dyan eh. Okay? Yung, sabi kasi ni John Dewey na dapat problem solving yung maging ano yan, basis ng pangkalahat ng pagtuturo. ba? Diba? E meron din naman si Vygotsky, kung naalala nyo, kung naturo na sa inyo. Sabi kasi ni Lev Vygotsky, na para matuto ang bata, e eh, suportahan mo. Kaya may scaffolding. For example, natuto ba kayo mag-bike na kayo lang? ba diba meron humawak ng bike nyo? Alangan naman forever yung bike ninyo may dalawang kriyat sa gilid. <laughs> 
<laughs> so doon ruido tulutulo kan ko din yun no. Hindi, so dapat ang bicycle kaya nga bicycle dalawa lang yung gulong. So you need help from other. That's according to Lev Vygotsky. Kaya hindi rin talaga literally pangkalahatan yung ID ni John Dewey, okay? So nababagay lang yan literal doon sa mga batang medyo matataas ang IQ or fast learner. Let's proceed ma'am. So, sa last na po, sabi niya talagang yung science and technology um, made us become powerful and yet powerless. So, for example, yung mga inventions at saka yung mga kaalaman para malunasan o malutasan yung mga sa, ba, sa sakit, yung naiimbento at uh, to conquer aging, yun po. Pero we have not conquered ourselves. So we are powerful in terms of uh, science and technology but in ourselves or not. Yun nga. Uh, kahit gaano ninyo pa sabihin sa akin na darating ang panahon di na kailangan ng teacher sa classroom. Hindi pa rin ako naniniwala doon. Because kahit ano mangyari, wala makapagpapalit sa teacher na kahit anong AI. Kasi yung AI wala yung values, walang puso 'yun. Okay? Pero yung tao na nagtuturo, na si sense mo yung kanyang emotional context. So ibig sabihin, okay, iba pa rin lalo na pag face to face. Like ganito okay lang nakikita din niya ako, like, pero hindi niya nakikita yung buong katawan. Hindi niya nakikita yung hindi niya nafeel yung aura ng teacher. Kaya mas maganda pa rin talagang face to face. So baka luckily, next semester face to face na po tayo. All right, congratulations mga ka-eduk, 'di ba? So finally I'm going to see your face. In face to face. All right. So, ano pa mam susunod? Tapos na pa ako sa. Okay, pa lidi kana gi. Kana lagi ibig tapos kana. All right. So, thank you very much, Ma'am Lisa May. Yan comment. Thank you very much, Ma'am. Kay well said po. Okay, so yun, pinaliwanag natin, ka, pinaliwanag ka rin ni Ma'am yung pagkakaiba-iba ng mga philosophical thoughts, ha? Pero hindi po talaga siya para sa lahat. Meron lang pong nababagayan, okay? So it always depends to the learner, to the situation, to the learning environment, okay? So let's proceed po sa ating last discussion, okay? We have Ma'am Kay Ann de la Cruz. Ma'am, take it away. So, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm KNB de la Cruz of B at 1A. And I'm going to discuss the two edu- the last two education philosophers, Jidor Bramel and Paolo Frie. So, first, um, Jidor Bramel. Jidor... Right, Jidor Bramel was the founder of the social reconstructionism he was a philosopher he was also a philosopher and educator who supported the educational philosophy of reconstructionism and he believed that education had the responsibility to mold human beings into cohesive and compassionate society as the name implies social reconstructionism Reconstructionism is a philosophy that emphasizes the reformation of society. So, iminumungkahi ng social re- reconstructionism na bigyan, di- na bigyan diin ang pagsasaayos ng ating lipunan sa, ta- sa tulong ng tamang edukasyon. Nap- kasi napakalaki ng ambag ng edukasyon sa ating lipunan sa For example, sa pagpapaganda or pagpapabuti ng ating lipunan. Kasi bilang membro ng lipunan, may magagawa tayo or may itutulong upang ma-improve ito. So the show the social reconstructionist contend that humankind has moved from an agricultural and rural society to an urban and technological society. Bramel recognized the potential for either human annihilation through ay hindi po through ano? because <laughs> magraya ang pagbasa sorry, sorry. <laughs> ah sige sige sorry, sorry. because there is a serious lag in, agri- in culture adaptation to the reala- realities of technological society kasi sa pagbaba ka- sa pagbabago ng isang komunidad from rural and To urban, maraming bagay ang mababago mula sa kanilang mga nakasanayang pamumuhay, mga pinagkakitaan at marami pang iba. 
rural kasi yung rural society is more on agricultural samantala yung urban society ay more on advanced technology. Yep. So sa ganitong paraan nakikita po natin yung pagkakaiba ng rural and urban. So di ba magkaiba po sila? So maraming adjustment adjustment ang kailangang gawin. Kailang gawin. Okay. Humankind has yet to reconstruct its values in order to catch up with the changes in the technological order and organized education has a major role to play in reducing the gap between the values of culture and technology. Premeld recognized the potential for either human annihilation through technology and human cruelty or the capacity to create a beneficent society using technology and human compassion. Kasi sa pagkakaroon ng tama at maraming karunungan, ang mga tao ay makakapag, makakaisip ng paraan upang masolusyonan ang gap between rural and urban. Halimbawa, manakaisip yung mga taga-rural area ng, ng paraan or way upang makipagsabayan sa mga ulit na lugar. Gamit ang kanilang kaalaman at natutunan, magagamit nila ito sa pagbuo ng solusyon sa solutions ng gap. Bigyan ko yun ng isang napaka- ang um, ano yan, tangible na example. Bicol University. Ang Bicol University is binubuo ng ilan, imang ilang ilang mga campuses. We have Bukaf. We have BUPC. We have Tabaco Campus. We have Gubat Campus. We have Bukal. Diba? Uh, diba? So we have Seng. We have Social Arts and Sciences. Diba? Actually, hinati rin sa tatlo. Okay? So ngayon, meron na tayo dun sa ano yan, uh, College of Social Sciences and Philosophy. Okay? sa si SSP. Okay, we also have College of Science. Lahat yun sa BU Main. Okay. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Okay. So, ginawa kasi tayo ni, ni Sir Mascarinha sa ating ano yan, presidente na uh, magkaroon tayo ng centralized university. Ngunit, meron po tayong kanya-kanyang expertise. For example, sa BUPC, we are the IT hub. So, kaya ito, isa example na natin to sa ating mga ka na ginagawa na natin yung live streaming. Kasi IT hub tayo. So dapat meron tayong ipakita that we're doing this kind of uh, activities kahit classroom level lang, okay? Na nababagay sa information technology, all right? So ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. So isang example na to kaya uh, proud sa inyo yung university, di ba? Nandiyan na kayo mag-live stream, di ba? O may upload ko na to sa YouTube. All right. All right. Sige, ma'am, let's proceed po. So the social reconstructionist assert that school should critically examine present culture and resolve inconsistencies, controversies, and conflicts to build a new, not just, new, not society, just change society. So, do more than reform the social and educational status quo. It should seek to create new society. Humankind is the state of profound cultural crisis if school reflect the dominant of social values then organized education will merely transmit the social ills that are symptoms of the pervasive problems and afflictions that base set humankind okay the... naalala ninyo yung vision ng Bicol University sige nga paki-reset nga sa ating mga ka-eduk okay paki-reset sa ating mga viewers what is the Bicol University vision okay come on Bicol University <laughs> ala kayo Oo. ala kayo nakalimutan nyo na Bicol University Vision okay a world class university producing leaders and change agents ah see so therefore isa sa mga idea na ginamit ni Sir Mascarinas is social reconstructivism. Kasi, pag-graduate nyo dito, magi kayo dapat mga agents or mga leaders na pwede pong magdala ng pagbabago, improvement sa society, bagong pag sa society. <laughs> yan, ang, yan, ang, yan ang idea po ng ating mahal na presidente, si Sir uh, Arnulfo M. Mascarinha. So, isa siya sa mga um, philosophy na um, inimbed nyo doon sa ating um, Be a vision. Alright? So, let's proceed, ma'am. 
The only legitimate goal of truly human education is to create a world order in which people are in control of their own destiny. In an era of nuclear weapons, the social reconstructionists see an urgent for society to reconstruct itself before before it destroys itself. Technological era is an era of inter interdependence and so education must be international in scope for global citizenship. For the social con reconstructionist, education is designed to awaken students' consciousness and about social problems and to engage them actively in problem solving. Social reco reconstructionism helps the children the students to engage themselves in developing and helping society in problem solving. Kasi, as a student, kay, kailangan bukas ang ating kaisipan at makialam tayo sa mga nangyayari sa ating lipunan kasi parte tayo nito. So. Okay. Saan ba to leading ang social reconstructionism? Anyone from you guys? Anyone from you ladies? Saan pa to patungo? Ito yung palagi sinasabi sa inyo eh. A teacher must be Globally competitive. Diyan, yan, dyan, yan. Dyan yan patungo. Kasi kasasabi pa lang kanina ni Munda, dapat meron tayong idea, meron tayong pakialam, meron tayong nalalaman sa mga nangyayari ngayon sa ating mundo. For example, right now, the conflict between Ukraine and Russia. So, dapat meron din tayo dyan pakialam. Okay? Meron dapat tayo dyan konting idea kung ano yung mangyayari. Kasi yan, pag yan nag-aaway yung mga ganyang bansa, Nako po, eh, meron po yung relasyon at meron po yung kagat sa ating ekonomiya. Okay? Umpisaan nyo na dyan ang ating langis. Kaya payo ni sir, magpapultank na kayo. Hindi <laughs> nyo uh, Para, in, in, kesa naman, patingi-tingi kayo pataas ng pataas. Ipultank nyo na ngayon. Para sakali man tumaas, meron pa kayong gasolina. Alright? So, yan po yung sa mga example ko dyan. Okay? So, maki, alam po tayo at meron po tayong connection sa ating Okay, lipunan. Okay? Lalong-lalo na sa mga nangyayari sa mga panahong ngayon. Okay? Let's proceed, ma'am. Social reconstructionists are firmly committed to equality or equity in both society and education. Bi barriers of socio-economic class and racial discrimination should be eradicated. Education is right for all the citizens regard regardless of race and social status that must enjoy education is free and education is free so it means para ito sa lahat so they em they also emphasize the idea of an interdependent world the quality of life needs to be considered and enhanced on a global crisis okay okay let's proceed so, ma'am next next is paulo Freire. <laughs> Paulo Freire is a critical tourist. Pa Paulo Freire was a Brazilian whose experience living in poverty led him to ch champion education and literacy as the vehicle for social change. So, critical pedagogy and dialogue versus the banking model of education. Paulo Freire believed that system must be changed to op overcome the oppression and improve human condition. Um, wait po pala. But first, um, let me ano, the meaning of critical pedagogy. Critical hmm. pedagogy is a teaching philosophy that invites the, invites the educator to encourage students to critique structures of power and oppression. It involves of becoming aware of and questioning the social status. For example, sa isang silid-aralan, dapat mabago ang role ng student na hindi lamang siya estudyante na kailangang turuan para matuto, kailangan din niyang maging active sa ta talakayan tulad ng pagtatanong ng mga bagay na hindi niya maintindihan o kaya may idea siya pwede niya tong i-share sa klase. So, what is dialogue? Dialogue is the basis for critical and problem-posing po pedagogy. Sa pag kasi sa pagkakaroon po ng um, pa palitan ng ideya, mas matututo ang mag-aaral kasi it encourage reflection and reflection from others' idea. So, what the banking model of education. So, na-discuss na, na to ni 
ni Daisy pero i i uh, ano ko pa din so banking model of education educator deposits information into students heads the teacher deposits information this and the students only receiving, filling, and storing the information. The communication doesn't take place. It hinders the intellectual growth of the students because the student only receives and collects the information. It also causes lack of understanding. Tulad ng sinabi ni Daisy, ang teacher bigay ng bigay ng information and yung students ay taga-receive lang ng information. So, walang communication sa dalawa. Kaya hindi natin malalaman if natuto, natuto ba yung mga estudyante. Hmm. Actually, pwede natin malaman through assessment or evaluation. Okay? Yun nga lang, kung nagmatch pa yung evaluation sa methods at sa subject, that's why it's always an interrelated system. sa nyo yan makikita mga ka sa lesson plan? Kaya palagi may lesson plan si teacher. Kung wala kayong lesson plan, huwag na huwag kayong magtuturo. Hmm. Dahil nakakatakot yung ganyan eh. Mabigla-bigla kayo magtuturo. Walang plano. Nako po. Sigurado yan. Pag nabadrip ang teacher nyo, saan yan ibabali? <laughs> Di sa inyo. <laughs> Kaya dapat ang teacher palagi may LP. Okay, let's proceed ma'am. Education and liter- literacy are the vehicle for social change. In his view, human must learn to resist oppression and not become its victims, nor oppress others. To do so requires dialogue and critical consciousness, the development of awareness to overcome domination and oppression. Okay, ano pa ma'am? Rather than teaching us banking in which this in which the educator deposit information into the student's heads, prayer, so teaching and learning as a process of inquiry in which the child must invent and reinvent the world. Teaching as a banking means the teacher spoon-feeding their, their students. They deposit information to students but walang communication. Dapat may communication between the students and the teacher. Like the student need to express his, his or her idea tungkol sa isang topic topic na kanilang pinag-uusapan o pinag-aaralan. Sa ganitong paraan, malalaman natin kung may natutunan ba ang estudyante or wala. Mas maganda na bigyan ng chance yung mga student or natin na makapagtanong sa mga bagay na hindi nila maintindihan. Kasi napapansin natin sa natin sa mga bata na masyado silang matanong kasi curious sila sa mga bagay-bagay. Yan yung isang napaka-ideal na idea. No? Yung, yung bata, yung learner, kayo, curious na curious. Pero may senaryo kasi na ganito eh. Pag, nagtayong, pag nagtanong na yung teacher sa inyo, Do you have question? <laughs> Wala na pong nagsas- Wala nagsasalita. <laughs> ano, anong favorite, anong favorite, ano yan? Word ng mga sudyante? No, sir. Oh. Di ba? No, ma'am. Di ba? Yes. So, pag kayo nagsalita ng ganun, we are assuming that you learn something. We're not assuming that you learn all things okay, inside the lesson. We I, we are assuming that you learn something. Kasi okay na yun sa akin, at least meron kang natutunan kahit isa lang dyan. Masaya na ako doon. Pero ang problema kasi guys, sa, sa ating formal education, there is a system that these ideas, this critical pedagogy and um, versus banking method, okay, so nagbabari yan from time to time. Nagbabari yan from different kinds of subject matter. Nagbabari yan sa ability ng bata. Diba? So, kung yung bata, uh, hindi talaga po pala tanong, for example, kayo, di ba sabi ko sa inyo first time, yung, hindi masyadong magaling magsalita, okay. Di, ma, di makapagsalita, comment nyo, ako magsasalita para sa inyo. Eh, nakita ko yung mga comments ninyo, mga essay, o oh, di magagaling pala itong mag-essay, di ba? So, nahihiya lang siguro mag-express. So, the, the, the idea is that if the teacher sees this, um, ano yan, um, uh, problem inside the ano yan, classroom, the teacher should butt in. The teacher should be the one to facilitate learning. Okay, saan to problema? Dapat meron si teacher ang uh, kakaibang method na pwedeng gamitin. Dahil kung wala kang ibang method, isa lang, ay kawawa yung ibang estudyante. Remember, heterotype po tayo sa basic education. Ibig sabihin, hindi dyan pare-pareho ang iniisip. Kahit yan magkakapareho ng edad, 
Iba ang iba ang laman ng mga utak niyan. Iba rin yung kanilang mga pinag-aralan or let's say yung pinagdaanan sa kanilang ang um, ano yan, buhay. Iba yung kanilang ang um, environment sa bahay, iba yung environment sa school. So ang dami ko consider ng teacher. Hindi po ganoon yang ka simple lang. 'Di ba? So in this case, freshman pa lang kayo. So ang dami niyo pang pwedeng pag-aralan. That's why kung gusto niyo pa mag-ship, pwede na po kayo mag-ship. <laughs> so ganito po ka ka problematic yung educational system natin. In what sense? There's what we call the abrupt changes. So halos taon-taon, halos weekly, ang um, uh, tawag ba dito, semesterly, uh, ang dami pong pagpabago through researches. Kaya yung teacher talaga, buong buhay po, mag-aaral tayo. <laughs> Ito tayo, for example, kapag tapos ka ng BED, uh, Bachelor of Elementary Education, that's the end. No. Continuous unlearning. That's it. Alright, ma'am? So, let's finish na po ang ating topic. Teacher must not see themselves as the sole processors of knowledge and their and their students as em- empty receptacles. The teacher shouldn't see themselves superior kasi in some cases po, may mga ganito, iniisip ng teacher na mas mataas sila sa mga estudyante nila. Kasi in some se- sense naman, totoo naman po yun kasi may degree na nga po sila. Pero don't pressure the Don't pressure po yung mga mag-aaral kasi <laughs> hindi pa po kayo magkasing level and nagsisimula pa lang po. In short po, nasa developing stage po or kailangan pa po namin ng <laughs> or information po. Be, nakalive tayo. <laughs> Sorry po sir, pero hindi naman po sa lina uh-huh. lahat. Ayan. Meron lang po kasi. Uh-huh. Karamihan lang. <laughs> Joke <laughs> Ah, uh, yan. So, sabi yun ni Mama. So, mga ka-edu. Kaya, mga viewers natin. Okay. Ah, uh, yan. So, ito maganda. Nagkakaroon tayo ng discussion dito. Okay. Um, we have grade level system. Kung napanood niyo yung vlog ko sa Facilitating of Learning, maintindihan yung ibig kong sabihin. That in some cases, the teacher should go down to the level of students. But in some cases, the teacher should go up for the students to reach the level of the teacher. Para ma-avoid yung tinatawag nating learning gap. Okay, it can be done ang uh, tawag ba dito? Ang uh, la- tawag ba dito? Likewise. Kasi minsan, kung for example, kayo, uh, nagkaroon ng lag, ng gap, for example, nagbagyo, hindi na natin kayang itakal yung topic, so makukulangan kayo. Yung susunod na ano yan, ang uh, uh, tawag ba dito? Ang um, teacher ninyo, dapat at least magkaroon ng diagnostics. Ano bang problema? Nakalimutan ba ninyo to? So, magagap tayo ng konti. Okay? Para, parang konting review lang kasi nawala kayo ng konti doon. Lalong lang ang mga subject is progressive like mathematics, science, English, yan mga gaya, mga basic education, ano yan, subjects. Pag yan po na miss out ng teacher or let's say ng student, ah, kasi progressive, ibig sabihin, hindi ka makaka-jump in sa grade 2 kung hindi mo natapos yung grade 1 level. Okay? Pareho yan si skill test. Okay? Uh, hindi ka makakapunta sa grade D kung hindi ka nakapasa sa grade E. So, ganun siya. Okay? So, kung imagine niyo kung ganyan ka, ka kalupet ang educational system natin, ganyan ka, ka sophisticated, ewan ko na lang siguro kung ano mangyari sa atin. Okay, but meron mga circumstances kasi na kinakailangan i-considerate. Diba? So, hindi, hindi tayo masyadong idealistic. Remember, si Sir Nino, I'm a, pag, I'm a pragmatic teacher. Kung ano yung pwede makapadali sa pagkatuto ng bata, doon ako. Okay. Yun yung aking philosophy sa education. Okay? Ma'am, meron pa po? A democratic relationship between the teacher and her student is necessary in order for the consultation process to take place. Fair's critical pedagogy is problem-posting education. The essential element of Fair's pedagogy is dialogue. Dialogue is a love and respect that allow us to engage people in dialogue and to discover ourselves in the pr- process of, and learn from each, from one another. By its nature, dialogue is not something that can be imposed. In th- instead, genuine Dialogue is characterized by respect of the parties involved toward one another. We develop a tolerant sensibility during the dialogue present, and it's only when we come back to tolerate the points of view and ways of being others that we might be able to learn from them and about ourselves in process. Dialogue means the presence of equality, mutual recognition, recognition, recognition. affirmation, 
of people, a sense of solidarity with people, and remaining open to questions. Yan yung pinakamagandang gawin, gamitin na term. Instead of argument, okay, argument, parang ano yan, aggressive yung dating eh. So, I would like to do an argument with Mr. Masyadong aggressive. Pero kung ganito yung, ta- yung, yung approach mo, I would like to have a dialogue with Mr. with Ms. Ganyan regarding these policies, okay, about, about the educational system and to exchange information regarding how we're going to, to do, uh, ano yan, um, uh, to do the uh, most sufficient way and efficient way in dealing with this problem. Ang ganda. Pero kung tinira mo kaagad, I uh, want to do an argument. Oh. <laughs> Sakit ulo yung ganyan, yung mga ano yan, uh, ang tao. Diba? So, ang ganda nung term na dialogue. Right, ma'am? Sige, let's proceed po. That's all po, sir. Thank you. All right, yan. So, nag-imit na si ma'am. That's all, sir. <laughs> Nalobot na si ma'am. Pas ko boris sabi nung yung kanina yung yung apat mga ka-educ ano yan punong-puno ng buhay nung nagkabalitaktakan na kami humina na po yung signal di joke <laughs> oh boost ng energy normal lang yan okay anyway lunis pa so tipirin niyo ang inyong energy meron pa kayong ilang araw okay bago ang weekend all right so mga ka-educ diyan na po nagtatapos ang ating discussion maraming salamat po sa ating mga discussants ngayong hapon so napakaganda po ng aming usapan at Take note, mga ka Philosophical thoughts pa lang po to. Wala pa to sa reality. These are just the ideal um, essence of learning school and curriculum. Okay? School and community and organizational leadership. So, doon pa lang po sa kanilang subject, madami na po sila pong pag-aaralan. <laughs> the teacher, the community, school culture, organizational leadership, ganun po kadami. So, medyo um, masakit po sa... <laughs> sa ulo itong subject namin pero pipilitin po namin we're going to try our best para sa ating mga viewers at sa ating mga ka-educ all around the Philippines para mas maintindihan po natin ang subject po na ito yun lamang po ladies and gentlemen thank you very much mga ka-educ dito na po nagtatapos ang ating discussion ngayong hapon thank you Lord thanks God thanks APEC hindi <laughs> umepal si APEC okay maraming salamat sa ating mga discussion once again Okay, so word of thanks from our discussion. Okay, first we have po Ma'am Daisy Malapo. Ma'am, word of thanks po. Hello po, thank you for having me. Well, um, discussion today, sana po marami po kayong natutunan. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Ma'am Daisy Malapo. Okay, and we have Ma'am Nanette. Ma'am, word of thanks po. Wala, wala na naman si ma'am. Oo, oh, wala. Thank you. Alright, ma'am. Nandiyan ka pa, ma'am. Okay, balikan natin si ma'am. Okay. And of course, we have um, ma'am Liza May. Kometa, ma'am. Word of thanks po. Thank you po sa pagkikinig po. Tapos, sana, uh, sana po marami po kayong natunan po. Salamat po. Alright. Thank you very much, Ma'am Liza. And, um, nandiyan na ba si Ma'am Lanette? Okay ka lang, Ma'am? Okay. And si, si ano lang, si Ma'am Kayan. Ma'am, word of thanks po. Thank you po sa mga nanood and sana po may, may napulot po kayong natu- natutunan okay. sa aming discussion. Thank you po ulit. Alright. Thank you very much, Ma'am Kayan. And, Ma'am Lanette, Word of thanks po, ma'am. So, thank you for listening po. Alright, thank you very much, ma'am Lanette. Okay, kahit medyo wala-wala ang ating signal. Thanks God, awa ng Diyos. Nakatapos din po tayo ng ating first module po dito sa ating The Teacher and Community School Culture and Organizational Leadership course okay along the first topic which is philosophical thoughts of education once again ladies and gentlemen thank you very much po okay sa ating mga viewers sa ating mga discussant namely po we have again ma'am daisy malapa thank you very much ma'am ma'am kayan de la cruz maraming salamat ma'am ma'am nanette albia thank you very much ma'am and ma'am liza may 
comment. At sila po yung ating mga discussion na bumubuo po sa ating discussion po ngayong hapon regarding po sa ating course which is Module 1, Philosophical Thoughts of Education. Once again, this is your host, Eji Kisanta. Nag-iwan isang katagang in this type of pandemic. Hmm. Para matuto ng walupet, diya adet, bad mapaknet. Congratulations, ladies. Okay, maraming salamat po. Keep faith, okay? Keep safe, keep the faith. Keep the passion. Maraming salamat and God bless us all. Bye-bye.